Well, I did promise y'all that you'd get to have a lot of fun with me changing the toilets out over at Triss's house, so that's where we're on the way to now. I know y'all don't want to miss this. Probably getting a change of toilet bowl on a couple of toilets is just the kind of thing that y'all woke up this morning thinking, geez, I sure would like to see somebody do that. I sure would like to know how that's done. I'd like to experience that. I'd like to get my fingers right in there in the in the stuff that's involved in doing that sort of thing. I know y'all all woke up with that thought in your head this morning, so it's for that reason that I've decided to take this time and run over to her house and install those toilets and let y'all watch, just so you get to, you know, have that kind of joy that the average person just doesn't get to experience every day. That's my thinking anyway. Here we go. We're on our way to her house. Yee-haw! Okay, this ain't that hard. The first thing we're going to do is uh, there's no water shut on here but i'm going to shut this water off right here i'm going to disconnect this connection that goes up to the bottom of the toilet tank there should be two bolts up in the back of here uh, right here is one and there's one on the other side once those comes off i can lift this toilet tank off of here and then there's two bolts down here that hold this on i take them off we lift this up we put the new one back in place and we bolt it down and put a new uh, uh, wax ring in the bottom of here. And then we put the tank back on and a little uh, washer thingy that goes right in here. And bolt that all back in place, hook the water back up, and we're ready to move on to the next one. There's my new toilet sitting there on the floor, just raring to go into place. So I'm going to grab some wrenches, start pulling some stuff loose, and uh, I'll let y'all see it as it goes along. Okay, the old toilet is out of here, and I had Trish help me carry it out back. I had trouble getting the uh, tank separated from the bowl and I needed to so I just lifted the whole thing off in one piece and I thought well, it would be best to get this outside so I can flip it over without pouring out stuff. There's antifreeze down inside there. Doesn't that look pretty? Ooh, doggies. I bet y'all glad you saw that. Anyway, uh, there was only one screw on the bottom of this. One of them was rotted away. The other one's locked up on here, hard to get to, but I can kind of flip this thing over and get that loose later. And uh, probably while I got this bowl out, it wouldn't hurt to clean it out. There's some uh, brown looking crud all in the bottom of it. Uh, like I said, she's got a lot of iron in her water. It looks like there's a lot of it caked up in the bottom of this thing. So probably wouldn't hurt to clean that out real good before we put it back on. But I'm gonna go ahead and install the other, go ahead and install the bowl in here. And then we'll go from there. Okay, I'm just kind of test fitting the new one on there. Uh, obviously, it's going to be shaped a little different, but not so much that it matters. Uh, it seems to fit down in there pretty well. Maybe not exactly, but uh, good enough. I don't think it'll be too noticeable. And uh, I'm going to go to the hardware store, get two new screws. These little screws here slide out of here like that. And those are looking pretty bad. I get two new of these and I'll get two new of the uh, screws that go up in the back of the toilet here. And uh, that's what the old floor in the house used to look like. It looks like there's at least two layers of old uh, linoleum there. One from another toilet that was even older than this one. And then another one. So I don't know, this may be the third toilet that's been put in here. I don't know. Second one anyway. Third, second, third. Yeah. Anyway. I know y'all are enjoying this immensely.